हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू नंद किशोर क्लासेस टुडेज लेक्चर इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक रियल नंबर्स रैशनल नंबर्स इ रैशनल नंबर्स दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ईच एंड एवरी वन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज रियल नंबर सी रियल नंबर इज एक्चुअली डिवाइडेड इन टू टू पार्ट फर्स्ट पार्ट इज रैशनल second part is irrational combination of these both comes under real numbers that means it is important to understand meaning of rational and irrational because whatever rational numbers are or whatever irrational numbers are they all can also be told real numbers because they comes under the real numbers now let us learn step by step what are rational numbers according to the definition of rational a number can be expressed in the form of p over q which form p over q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 obviously denominator cannot be 0 but if you remember if you have heard the definition carefully it is written that numbers which can be expressed in the form of p upon q can be means they are necessarily not to be in the form of p upon q which can be expressed for example if i take decimal number 0.2 0.2 is a rational number it comes under rational why because it can be written as p upon q form can be written means you can remove the decimal and it can be written as 2 over 10 see it becomes p over q then similarly any number which is in decimals like 0.35 this is also rational 2.375 this is also rational i hope you are able to understand that decimals numbers are rational numbers these decimal numbers which i have written as of now on the board they are actually terminating decimal expansions which ten, which expansions they are terminating decimal expansions terminating means after decimal it is being ended somewhere see it was ended after one digit it was ended after two digits it was ended after three digits that is why these are known as terminating decimal expansions now one question must be arising in your mind that sir if this is terminating then what happens to non terminating i will come to that but firstly try to understand that that all the terminating decimal expansions are rational numbers because they can be written in the form of p upon q other than that i am writing few numbers like 1 2 3 0 -1 -2 -2, whatever these all are rational numbers why rational because these can be written as p upon q form you can write one below them as a denominator everywhere so they are also rational numbers other than these which are actually in fraction for example uh, let's suppose 7 over 8 8 over 9 right 10 over 12 they are obviously rational because they are already written in p upon q but my aim for explaining was it is not necessary that it is written in this form all those forms which can be written as p upon q they are also rational now let me clean the board once whatever is written here i hope you are clear now i am coming to this terminating part because when i say rational and irrational for rational two options will be there further one will be terminating terminating and see terminating examples i have already given you i am writing one or two examples as well like this right but second option is for rational it comes non terminating non terminating and one word is used along with the non terminating that is non terminating reoccurring 
or repeating both words are correct i am writing repeating now what is the meaning of non terminating repeating that is like you have a number 0.333 dot 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 0.3333 can also be written as 0.3 bar that means when repetition of a number is there after decimal since it since repetition is there that is why repeating word is used it is never ending that is why non terminating is used so collectively it is non terminating repeating and 0.3 bar is actually 1 over 3 you can divide 1 by 3 you will get this answer so that means 1 over 3 is p by q form so those which are non terminating repeating they are also rational those which are terminating obviously they are rational and 1 2 3 4 5 6 as i told you earlier i hope you are clear with the rational chart now then what are irrational for easy understanding if i will tell you irrational numbers are like which are in thirds like square root of 3 square root of 5 these are the most common examples students very easily understand it which comes under irrational but technically if i talk about the way we are already expressing terminating non terminating for irrational number it will be non terminating let me complete this word non terminating non repeating non terminating non repeating which is not ending after decimal and even it is not repeating i hope you are understanding it so square root value like square root of 2 square root of 7 we don't have their exact values because there are actually non terminating non repeating values in short we write by rounding them to the decimal we say that square root of 2 is 1.41 square root of 3 is 1.73 like that but actually it is not non terminating non repeating but somewhere if you want to write any irrational number i'll give you an example like 0.01 Double zero one, then triple zero one. Dot 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 dot. It is non-repeating and non-terminating also because firstly zero one was repeating, zero one was coming, then zero is coming twice. Double zero one, triple zero one. That means number of zeros are increasing in this series, so it cannot be told repeating because repeating was when same number is getting repeated. Zero point three 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 three, zero point two 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 like that. so this is one way of writing non terminating expansion for example 0.03 003 003 you can write like that so this is what irrational is but yes the main important point i already told you like square root of 5 square root of 7 etc you can check the chart real numbers are rational or irrational see rational and irrational both are real so most of the numbers which we have come across they are real numbers only other than real when real numbers something is not real then imaginary starts where complex number topic comes into picture but we are not going to do that because our target of the video is with dealing with real numbers only i hope this topic makes sense to you all thank you so much for watching the video